Eric, we're here uh, in Hove at your headquarters, standing in front of a, a Kitamura MedCenter 5AX. Now, we have seen this machine before, but for those that haven't seen that video, it would be good to learn about this particular machine, and then we'll talk about the automation. So, how good is the MedCenter? Well, of course, we would say it's excellent. Um, it's uh, an ultra-compact, ultra-high-precision um, five-axis machine. I mean, we're talking about one micron positional accuracy guaranteed, so how do they it's really up there. How do you achieve well, that? Well, it's achieved by using linear scale feedback on all axes, um, cooled ball screws, uh, very accurate uh, geometry um, production of the machine. They actually scrape every surface in by hand. Because when you see accuracy. it move, you'd think to yourself, it moves so quickly that how do you begin to maintain such tight tolerances? Because tell us about the speed as well. It's well, we've got 60 meters a minute uh, rapid travels, uh, 30,000 RPM spindle speed incredibly fast B and C axis. So um, yeah, it's a bit scary when you see it moving. All in a very, very small footprint, it has yeah. to be said. Now, I suppose one of the drawbacks to, to this machine without the automation is you'd have to load it uh, continuously. But now with the introduction of this pallet system, you've got the unmanned run, haven't you? Can you tell us about this combination? Well, this is sort of an agreement that 3R have come up with um, jointly with Kitamura to make a bespoke package. We've got 12 pallets available now to run the machine unmanned and automatically loaded and also the option of 100 tools so you've got a, you know, a tool changer that can accommodate that number of different parts. That's one thing isn't it, you start adding uh, extra pallets you yeah. need to be able to accommodate the different parts that you're going to run through it yeah, because I true. would assume with this uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, it, it doesn't need to be the same part continuously does it? You can set it up to run lots of a variety of components over a weekend. Oh totally yeah, I mean if you've got the um, cycle time to to accommodate that. We've got pallet recognition on there as standard, so you know it's very easy to have a complete mix of parts on there. Uh, one of the other points that you should look at is the control is very, very capable. We've got two and a half thousand block look ahead. What about the communication between these two as well? That's often something people you know, need to think about. How Do you control the pallet system via the control or do you do it yeah, independently? Yeah, the whole system is fully integrated. So it's a joint venture with 3R and Kitamura. They've done a lot of work to integrate it uh, it's not just a bolt-on that uh, they've come up with. So. And how important is it to have it in such a small footprint? I mean, floor space these days is, is costly, isn't it? And everyone's res restricted to what they, you know, want as many spindles and pallets in a smaller well, area. Yeah, the more they can cram in, the more money they can make, of course. But I must say, customers have uh, really uh, received this well, the fact that it is such a small footprint. I mean, the machine itself is only 1.2 metres wide, so you know, it's really um, been thought through very carefully. And this is available? Is yep, this available from what, you guys at the yeah, moment? Yeah, this system's available from stock, and um, if with you need more than one, we can get hold of them. You can, can you? Because with some manufacturers at the moment, they're struggling to get machines through the door to be able to satisfy the needs of engineers, but you have this readily available, not just this one, but the horizontal as well. So quick deliveries. Yeah, of course. We always like to help customers quickly if we can.